Hey, I'm Pro Loser. This is a quick video I'm going to do to show you how to use uh, some really cool software that I found, some free software called Handbrake, which you can use to shrink and compress the size of your YouTube videos, making them easier and quicker to upload. Um, for example, I've got a Fallout 4 video here that I recorded, an hour's worth of footage, um, which I recorded using NVIDIA Experience Shadow Play. It's at 1080. 60 frames per second, uh, like it was like a 50,000k bitrate and a 195k audio bitrate uh, and it looks good, looks great but unfortunately the file size comes out at like 15 gig which is a bit big really and my upload speed on my internet is pretty rubbish so that'll take a long time so I need this to be smaller ideally so I'm going to show you how to use this software to shrink a file like that down to about 3.5 gig which is pretty amazing you're shaving more than 10 gig of the file size off there and most importantly you're not losing any significant amount of quality so I'll show you how to do this this is what the software looks like when you open it up like I say it's totally free I'll put a link in the description uh, or you can just google handbrake and you should be able to find it easily enough and uh, before I start, I'll just point out that I'm not an expert on this software. I've just found it and learned how to use it, seen a few tutorials. And I'll show you the settings that work for the kind of video that I'm uploading. Game recorded footage, high definition, 1080, 60 FPS, that kind of stuff. If you're doing other videos that are lower quality, you know, you, you can get away with different settings. But don't be afraid to mess around with this and, and try out the different settings and see what works for you. But I'll show you what works for me. First of all, we'll select the video that we want to shrink, that we want to compress so I'll, this is one that I recorded, the one that I've just shown you 15 gig, so we'll put that one in when it loads it pretty quick it'll show you here there's the file and the file length first of all we want to go to this tab which is the picture tab um, I want to keep the resolution and aspect ratio I want to keep it at 1080 so as you can see it's set a standard as, as loose I'm just going to change that to none and that just keeps the current resolution and aspect ratio which is what I want to do for this video. If you want to output different resolutions obviously you can mess around with this and you can get different output. Um, the next tab is filter. Um, there's, I haven't really messed around with this so I don't know exactly how all the settings work so I haven't changed any of these it doesn't seem to make a difference for what I'm doing but by all means you know you can do some more research and find out what all these other different settings do. Go for it. The next tab is video. This is the main one you're going to be messing um, that's going to alter the quality and the file size of, of, of your output files. So we're going to keep the video codec at this standard MP4 H.264, which is like the standard upload MP4 codec for YouTube. Um, I'm recording in 60 FPS, as I said, so, um, so I'm going to set this at 60. I think you can leave that as same as source. I don't think it makes a massive difference, but this is how I set it. Because, yeah, I'm getting a peak frame rate of 60 FPS. It's not constant. Sometimes it's less than that. So that makes sense for, for the quality settings that I've got, that I've recorded at. Um, these two sliders are the main things that you're going to want to mess around with. Um, this is the speed, obviously, that it processes at. It's set as default as very fast. Go this way, it's faster. Go this way. Sorry, this way is faster this way is slower but it's set at very fast to stand and it's kind of a trade-off with these bars um, the faster you do it obviously um, it takes less time to do it but you're going to end up with more quality loss and a, a, you know, a bigger file size it's going to be less reduction in the file size so that's where I keep it at kind of very fast and at that setting it will process an hour's worth of video in about an hour so it will take an hour to compress an hour's worth of recording if you know if it's an half an hour recording it'll take about half an hour but if you mess with the settings you can reduce this time and it's the same with this bar it's a trade-off it's set at standard as 20 um, if you go this way it's lower quality if you go this way it's higher quality if you go right to zero you're not going to lose any quality but you also won't shrink the file so there'll be no there'll be no point you know you're not getting a, a smaller file size so you want this somewhere in the middle where it's a good trade-off between quality and file size and 19 works for me for this kind of setting at 1080 60 fps um, the other tab 
is the audio one. I think that's the final one we need to change anything. And all you need to do in here is check that the audio bit rate matches the bit rate that you recorded at. So I'm recording my audio 192 bit. So I'll set it at the same, so it keeps it the same, simple. And the last two tabs, subtitles and chapters. I don't really need to use these, I've got subtitles. Not entirely sure what the chapters tab does, but I haven't seemed to need to use it, so fair enough. Like I say, I'm sure there's a lot more stuff you can do with this software, but feel free to have a mess with it and, and see what works for you. When you're happy with those settings, um, you just want to choose your destination file, really, for your output. So I'll do that, I'll just call it simple handbrake, will do. And there you go, there's your output destination file. So, using those settings, you should be able to shrink a 15 gig one hour video at, at, at the, those quality settings down to about three and a half gig which will make it a lot easier and you just start the process of pressing start and it shows you down here it's getting ready to go and it shows you a percentage how long it's going to take um, like I say depending on how fast your system is the size of the video the quality the, the time that this takes to process will vary but if you just mess around with it try the different settings and, uh, and you can see what this software does and I think it's really amazing and incredibly useful so if um, I hope this video has been helpful um, if it has give me a like a subscribe uh, maybe check out some of my other videos if you've got any questions just put them in the comments but for now thanks a lot for watching I'll see you later